Hey, there are 40,000 different Christian denominations. How do you know you got the right one? Whoops, well, slow it down. There are not 40,000 different denominations. Who told you that? Internet, Google, Google it. Yeah, no, that, that tracks, that's on brand. Well, listen, there's not. You can literally look this up. Stop saying there's not, you're not giving reason. Neither have you and neither can anyone that ever makes this stupid claim. Okay, so neither one of us is wrong. You're wrong. I'm just waiting on you to ask me to pr prove it. Okay. Hello everyone, I am the Reconstructionist, reconstructing the Christian faith while preventing the spread of biblical misinformation and dogma. Reason over consensus. All right, let's talk about it. So along your reconstruction journey, you're going to run into this question and this figure. All you have to do is Google and you'll see it. So I'm going to answer two questions. One, why that figure is nonsense. And two, what is the correct denomination? Let's start in reverse order. First, the correct denomination. You see this? If they believe that, they're Christian. There you go. Now, the obvious implication here is that Jesus is God. If they don't believe that, then they can't believe this. So I guess that's, that's a side note. Now, let's move on to the second one. First off, where does this 40-something thousand denomination figure even come from? Well, it comes from the World Christian Encyclopedia. Interesting factoid, this is how they define a denomination. Essentially, if you're in a different country and your congregation has similar ecclesiastical views and you see yourself as different than other Christian churches, you're a different denomination. Another side note, essentially, if you call called yourself Christian, you are seen as Christian. As in, Mormons have been counted on this list. That's problem number one. So broadly, you get about 22,000 denominations, Protestant 9,000, marginal 1,600. Yeah, you can read the rest of that. But wait, how do you get to 40,000 from that? First thing to know is that in general, of all of those churches, they all believe the same freaking thing. At the core, they all believe the same thing. That is 1 Corinthians 15. The problem is number one is that they broke them down even by their ethnicity. So those were all different denominations. And remember this definition? If you are in a different country and have the exact same denomination, you were counted as two separate denominations, not because something was intrinsically different, it's just that you were in a different country. Yeah, I think the numbers are a little inflated. Furthermore, Mormons are included and they definitely ain't Christian. So the real number of Christian denominations is, um, not something I know or care to know for a couple of reasons. Number one, there's really no clear definition of denomination. Some people have it at as low as 15 denominations total. Number two, this does not matter. I think one of the biggest problems is we don't appreciate the different flavors we have as Christians. Say you bake a cake. Some people might like strawberry icing. Some people might like vanilla. Some people might like chocolate icing, but it's still the same base. As long as it's still the same cake, you can find edification and flavor from all the different ones. Again, so long as the foundation is the same, which is why I do not include progressive churches. Y'all ain't Christian. But I encourage you as a reconstructionist to try out the different flavors. I've got a friend group codenamed Slackers. We all met at the gym and we all have different denominations. One's Baptist, one's Coptic Orthodox, and we thought the coincidence was funny. So every other Saturday or so, we try and go to each other's church just to enjoy the flavor. You don't think you can learn something from the Lutherans or the Orthodox? even your Catholic brothers and sisters? Come on. But anyway, I hope this helps. If you have deconstructed away from your faith and you're looking to heal your way back home, you gotta give me a like and a follow and hopefully I can be a small anchor in that process. But until next time, take care and most importantly, remember that a good reconstructionist is always learning. Grace and peace. It's hot.